without having a good reason. Likewise, I don't bash products without having a good reason. Alright, so let me tell you exactly what is going on here. In there I have my drive bay. My secondary drive bay. I have a 40 gigabyte uh, Hitachi Travel Star drive in there. And um, I can't see the drive. But uh, it is online, it is healthy, it is all that. But I can't see the drive because it's been formatted with something that Windows won't find. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything that is on that volume. It was not cre there you go, it was not created with Windows. I'm just going to go ahead and erase it anyways. I'm going to create a new simple volume. Formatted with the NTFS. We'll call it Let's just perform a quick format. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to get rid of the uh, BIOS password on this drive. So I'm going to go into the... Um, I do have a pass the password manager on here, which is what I'm going to use. Get rid of that. I'm going to hit the Think Vantage button here. manage our passwords. Oh. That didn't help me at all. That also didn't help me at all. So, so far, this thing is totally useless. I'm going to have to figure out how to get rid of that BIOS password on this thing. I can't get rid of it from the BIOS. Because um, it simply will not let me. And I don't know if formatting the drive helped. Optimize for performance. I'll let it do that. I'm going to reboot the system and I'll see what happens if it prompts me to enter a password. And by the way, I had almost 300 hours uptime on this thing before I rebooted it the first time. I have enabled the extended memory test on here, so that's why it's going to take a while. It does not prompt this for a password. Let's take a look. There is a password still on the drive. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get that off. 
because it wasn't created on this computer. And I do know what the password is. So I suppose it's not really a huge deal. Added security, I guess. Well, that concludes my video. Actually, before I conclude it, let's take a look. We are going to wait a couple of seconds for the system to actually fully start up. I'm going to play my dream scene, but look at that. Look at how smoothly that plays. It isn't all that smooth because the system's booting up, but after the system has started up, it's really smooth. And it doesn't po pose any hardship on the system. Now think about it. This machine... originally would have shipped with Windows XP. Not... Ultimate. It's not even designed for Ultimate. But no, oh yeah. I'm going to pause that so I don't screw something up. My drive is detected. There it is. And that concludes my video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. So, uh, yeah. Till then.